The first thing we need to do is to add an Adblock extension to Safari. To do this, you want to open the settings application. And once you're inside the settings, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find apps and you want to click into that. Once you see a list of apps, you want to scroll down to Safari. And once you've found Safari, you want to click into it. And here you're going to get all of your Safari settings. Now to install an extension, you want to scroll down slightly till we find the extensions tab and click into that. And here you may find a list of extensions that are already installed to Safari. And that's because they are shared across your devices, such as Mac and your iPad. Now, in order to install a new extension, you want to click on more extensions. And this will take you to the Safari extensions tab inside of the app store, where you can go ahead and browse all of the available extensions. Now, in this example, I want to search for an extension. So we're going to click on the search icon in the bottom right hand corner. And within the search bar, I'm going to search for AdGuard. Once we've searched for it, it should be the top result, which looks like this. So we're going to click into it. And then you can scroll down to read more about it. And we can confirm this is an extension underneath supports where it says Safari extension. Now in order to install this, you want to scroll all the way to the top and then you want to click on the get button and it will begin to install to your device. In this example, it shows as a cloud icon as I've installed this in the past. Once the extension has been downloaded, we can exit out of the app store and all we need to do now is to enable the extension for Safari. To do that, you want to go back to the system settings and you want to go back to the extension page that we were at previously and as you can see the add guide extension has now been added to the list. Now all we need to do is enable these one by one. To do that you want to click on the add guide extension and then you want to click on allow extension and you can also allow this in private browsing if you wish to do so. All we need to do now is to do this for each add guide extension. Now add guide has been enabled on our Safari web browser we can exit out of the system settings and the next time we go to our Safari web browser and we go to a website that has adverts that will no longer appear as you can see. If you wish to access the AdGuard extension settings, you simply want to open the AdGuard application that downloaded with the extension and here you can go ahead and customize the extension to your preferences.